Now we're going to work on a rotation on a piece of paper by hand. The rotation is a turn and we need a pivot point around which we're turning. We we'll also need you know, how far we're going to turn and that's going to be in degrees. And which way? And that's either going to be clockwise or counterclockwise. Clockwise is that way. Counterclockwise is the other way. So we start with our triangle and a pivot point. Let's pick a number. I don't like playing with 90, so, but it hides some things and plus sometimes doesn't turn it all the way. And we go bigger than 90 to get it away from itself, so we're not overlapping. So let's go with 110 degrees counterclockwise. I'm going to use three colors because we have to do something three times and sometimes it gets lost in translation kind of thing. Draw a line to through C. Now we need to create a 110 degree angle here because we're going counterclockwise. So put your protractor on pivot point and let's put a tick mark at 110. We started at zero so 110 is going to be on the inside of this protractor. Now if I put 110 here, that would be less than 90 and that's not supposed to be. So where are you starting? Are you starting at 180, starting at 0? 110 degrees away. It's over here. Tick mark. Draw a line through there. Now C has to be equidistant. If C is 3.45 centimeters away, from the pivot point. Its twin also has to be 3.45 centimeters away. Alright, 3.45 from the pivot point, just now at the new place. 3.45. There is C prime. Now we gotta do the same thing to A and the same thing to B. So I'm gonna grab a different color. So draw a line through A, let's turn that purple line, 110 degrees, line it up on zero, find 110, draw through the pivot point, there is our purple 110 degree angle. Now how far away was A? A was... 5.6 away, so A's twin has to be 5.6 away, which my line isn't big enough yet. A's twin has to be 5.6 away. 5.6, there's 5.5, 5.6. A's twin. Now, same thing to B. Get a line through B. There we go. Turn that 110 degrees. There we go. 110. Draw that line. Make that actual angle. So there's our pink 110. Now we've got to measure. B is three away. So B's twin has to be three away on that new line turned 110 degrees away. Three centimeters. B prime. Let's connect all the primes. And if we did a good job, we should have a twin. It's just being turned. So it's coming around like that. It's going around the pivot point, but it's also turning as it goes. So we went here, and those do look like pretty good twins. Some people like the idea of a compass to do this. They put C, then they make a circle that big, and then they find where 110 degrees is 
on that circle from the pivot point. Same idea. See, you should try it with a compass. And again, find the 110 degrees. It's right there on the circle. All the compass is doing is measuring for us how far C is. Like if you don't have a ruler, and I don't know it's three centimeters or whatever, I know it's that far, exactly that far. So I put a mark there. And then I go to A, and I measure out to A. A is that far, so I put a mark. A is that far, so I put a mark on there. That's where A would be. Compass is really a measuring tool. That is rotation.